Okay, a uh, buddy of mine was having some trouble getting a DOS box to go um, a few months ago. And basically, he just said, screw it, I'm not going to mess with it, it's too much trouble. So, um, he went the GOG route. Um, and, uh, anyway, so he got uh, a new game, and it's not working out right for him. And so I figured I'd just do a quick uh, tutorial on how to get DOSBox to work. Um, this could help some other people. I'm sure there's a thousand tutorials on YouTube. But uh, I just wanted to do one because um, sometimes the explanations are a little wonky. So uh, we will be um, booting into DOSBox 0.74. So uh, once you do that, it brings up um, DOSBox here. So first of all, we have to set our C drive. And this isn't an actual drive. Um, what we do is we create a folder and just point that folder to be our C drive. So um, I already have a C drive set up, but for the sake of conversation, I'm going to do it again. So I'm on my G drive right now. So I'm just going to uh, create a new folder and just simply call this um, uh, DOSBox. <laughs> So DOSBox is now um, set up. It's under the G drive. So I'm going to go back to DOSBox and type in mount C colon G colon slash DOSBox. So now my drive C is G colon dash bo DOSBox. So if I go C colon and enter, now I am in that G drive. So um, now that's mounted and that's set up as my C drive. So now we also need to set up a CD-ROM. So I have these uh, handy instructions here. Um, so to set up my CD-ROM, I type in mount D um, E forward slash negative T CD-ROM. Now, so basically back in the day, your your D was your disk drive. So we're telling this, I want to mount my D drive as my E drive because on my PC, um, the disk drive is actually E. Um, I don't know why, because my D is something else. So anyway, anyway, so I'm going to tell uh, DOSBox to mount the D drive as E, which we always put a colon slash after that. And then there's another uh, command that we're going to put negative T CD-ROM. And basically it just says that uh, negative T CD-ROM defines how the mounted folder should behave in the emulated operating system. So anyway, so I hit enter and it says MSCDX installed because it just installed um, some software to get the CD drive to work. Okay, so um, if I go to D, uh, there's nothing in D. It's empty. If I do a directory, um, there's nothing there. If I do C and do a directory, uh, there's nothing in that, but at least gets me a directory. So what I'm going to do now is put a CD-ROM in the, in the E drive, and I'm putting blood in here. First person shooter from, what was this, 1998? And I'll give it a second so it can spin up. And I'm going to install blood to the uh, C drive. Okay, so now I got that, we're gonna uh, go into D. So now we got D, I can do a directory. And see, there's everything. So with that being said, I'll just type in install, and hit enter. So it'll start to install. The installation program will install blood onto your hard disk drive. Press enter if you agree to the license agreement found in the license. Um, enter. And I want to, right here, it's going to create a blood directory. So if I bring my um, C drive back up, which is DOSBox, um, we have this right here. So I'll go ahead and hit enter. And you see it just created that blood directory. So that shows us that it's working correctly.
and holy cow, is it taking forever. I'm going to speed this up. <clears throat> okay, so, um, the installation has completed, so it's saying I can hit enter to continue, so I'll hit enter to continue. Um, blah, 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 yada, 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 enter to continue. And so basically once it's done installing, it should take me back to a DOS prompt, which has me back to the um, C blood drive. So here I can type setup and hit enter, and it'll take me to the setup screen. So I can do a sound setup, um, choose sound effects card, um, sound blaster, use these settings and continue. Yeah, sure, whatever. Um, yeah, I don't care. Uh, I can't hear anything. I guess it did something. Choose music card, uh, sound blaster. So there we go. Okay, and escape, exit, sat, screen setup, control, shot. I don't care about any of this. So um, I'm just gonna save the launch blood. Anywho, so uh, whenever it takes you back to your uh, C directory, so I could just do C and um, uh, change directory C, change directory C colon slash. There we go. So now I'm at uh, C. So I can, uh, if, you know, the next time you, you boot up into that, you mount your C drive, you mount your G drive and all that other stuff. Uh, so anyway, once you go back to C, then I can just type in um, blood. Uh, change directory, I'm sorry, blood, and then just uh, type in blood again, and it uh, starts the game up. Okay, so there you go. There's a quick and dirty tutorial of how to install and play a game in DOSBox. Now, there's another method that um, can be utilized when we're talking about um, uh, playing games with uh, game audio. With NBA Jam, I actually set up a directory with um, game audio in OGG format. So I can actually play NBA Jam by mounting the disc and uh, so I mount the disc and then boot into the disc as a mountable drive. But that's a little bit more complex. But if your game requires that, then um, yeah, I can definitely go into a tutorial on that. But that's usually for games that have like, you know, audio soundtrack quality and that kind of thing, which I don't know if your game would actually have uh, Redbook audio. Um, but if it does, and that's another tutorial, it's it's a little bit more complex. So I don't really feel the need to get into that right at the moment. But uh, yeah, what I showed you should should get you up to speed. Yeah, and uh, one other thing to uh, note is uh, while I was playing the game during this tutorial, uh, it did stutter with the uh, the audio and the playback, and that's because I was playing it directly off a disc. Now, if you create an ISO disc image of your CD. 
And if you uh, boot into a mountable drive of the CD, it'll work much better if you're playing off of an image of a CD than if you're playing directly off the CD. Um, but uh, since I didn't set up anywhere for the music to be, it was pulling my uh, CD actual disc off the disc drive for the music. And so that's, it's just a little bit, you know, cumbersome as far as that goes. But as I said, we can get around that. Like uh, pretty much all the games I play in DOSBox, I can get them down to pretty spot on recreations of what they would have been. But it's just different games call for different processes. And again, if, if your game does have Redbook audio, then chances are you'll have to go that extra mile to get that done. I'm just not sure if a missed ripoff game would actually have Redbook audio because I don't think Mist did. But uh, thanks for watching and peace out.